Okay, so after you have felted a nice round orb, what I did was I felted down the center of what I wanted the bottom to be because you want it to be able to sit flat and not roll around. Okay, so once we've done that, we can start actually adding kind of the ridges in the color that we want, okay? So I'm going to be using this kind of ashy green, but I thought, you know the, the pumpkins that are kind of like a light green? I thought it could be cool to try and mix some white in with my green to kind of get that look. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of this. Okay, and I'm going to grab a little bit of the white. And I'm going to try and mix it up. So we don't have a good comb here. So what I like to do is I like to just kind of keep overlapping it and then pulling it apart. So it's probably going to take a little while to mix this, but you want all the fibers to stay going in the same way, in the same direction, which would be much easier if we had a comb, but we do not. So if nothing else, maybe I just have too much. It, it helps to have a little less. If you're wanting to try and mix colors, um, it's going to take some time. You don't want to try and do it too fast. Notice my fingers, I have my thumb and forefinger on my right hand in the upper right corner, but then I place my left hand in the lower left corner so it's easier to pull them apart and continue overlapping them. Try and get the fibers in the same direction and then you're gonna kind of straighten them out as much as you can for the sides of the pumpkin. You want it to kind of stay like the roving. You only need it about this long, okay? So I'm going to needle felt this in to where it kind of just looks like it's part of a ridge, okay? We're gonna just slowly fill in the outside like this. So I'm gonna use my, well, maybe my uh, large needle still, and I'm gonna felt it in at the top so it's kind of locked in. And then I'm going to keep it kind of poofy for now. And then I'm going to felt it in at the bottom so that it is kind of locked in there. So I have a few that I have felted on. I'm going to trim this stuff off. I just want to make sure that it's nice and locked in. Um, I wanted to show you your different options. So these ones here are just kind of left looking a little poofy, okay? The first one I did though, I felted it a little bit more and so it's not gonna be quite as fluffy, but it's going to be more attached and kind of solid feeling, okay? So if you do this, you're gonna have a smaller pumpkin, but you can still create these ridges by felting in the crevices in between the ridges and it will actually push them in a little bit more. So you can felt it more if you would like. Um, you will just have to felt your crevices in a little bit more and you'll have a smaller pumpkin. Or if you like the look of it being fluffy, you can leave it fluffy and then we're just gonna kind of felt in those crevices in between to kind of exaggerate it. Um, keep in mind though, if you do leave it fluffy, this will be really easy to catch on something and rip the wool off. Okay, so I'm going to leave it up to you whether you decide which method you would like to do.